Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to play Monopoly Go. So best strategies and tricks and hacks. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest outrages under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be new to uh, Monopoly Go here and you're wondering what is the best way for you to actually play the game. Well, playing the game does not necessarily stick to one strategy. So there, the strategy or the means of playing the game itself depends on how you want to basically play. Now, in this case, for you to start playing Monopoly Go, usually you'll have to utilize dice. Now, dice is very and a very, very important resource in Monopoly Go. So through dices, you'll be able, you'll be able to make rolls, or you'll be able to uh, get rewards, or even uh, lose <laughs> significant value or a significant money on your account. So the money that we earn here is actually being used to build our empire. So it's typically at the bottom left here, this is where you will be able to uh, basically build or increase or uh, create your own, um, like for example, I want to uh, create my building here, I want to increase the value for it, this is how you actually do it. So for you to earn money, you usually need to basically spend dices, which in this case, once you actually uh, land on one of the tiles that you see here on your board, you'll be able to get a specific reward. Now, in this case, uh, how do you properly utilize dices here? Because, again, dices are the very important resource here in Monopoly Co. Well, utilizing dices here is kind of tricky. Now, in this case, uh, dice rolls here actually has or have uh, multipliers on it. So, no, multipliers are a means to increase your chances or basically multiply from the name itself. Multiply the value that you get from one roll. Like for example, my uh, multiply here right now is times 20, but if you're pretty new, it's going to be by default times one. Now, by the way, if you don't know where the multiplier it uh, is, it's usually at the top right of the go button that you see at the bottom center of your screen. Now, in this case, by default, it's going to be times one, but you can change this to times two or even times three, times five, times 10, times 20, and even for some users that has a lot of dice, they could even change this to times 100, which is something pretty cool. Now, in this case, how do you properly utilize this one? Well, in this case, utilizing your dices here is, again, really important. Now, it depends on the number of dices that you have on your account here. As you can see, the maximum value that we get or the maximum amount of dices on our account that we could get on a daily basis is going to be 40. Now, in this case, on some events or in certain uh, rewards, you could get more dices. That's why, as you can see right now, I have over 900 dices that I, that, that I could basically spend on playing the game itself. Now, so in this case, uh, again, how would we utilize or properly utilize this one? Now, the best trick for you to utilize dices here is to basically know where your current amount of dices is currently at. For example, if you have a very few amount of dices, it is a great idea to basically decrease your multiplier here. For example, you only have like 100, um, 100 dices or you only have like 200, 100 dices. It is a great idea to decrease the multiplier for it. So in this case, make sure to remove the times 20 multiplier. So maybe, for example, if you still want to use a multiplier here, you could even get or maybe, maybe use times 2, times 3 or uh, the basic one, which is times 1. Now in this case, why? Well, in this case, if you increase your multiplier here, yes, we are increasing our chances or it's going to also increase your, uh, basically it's going to increase the rewards that you get. But it also increases the risk that you take on your dice rolls. I mean, in this case, you will get or you will lose more if you actually spend a lot of dices here. So unless you have a lot of dices here, it is a great idea to minimize or decrease the multiplier that you're using on your account. Now, if you have like 1,000, 10,000 dices here, it's great that you use the multiplier here, like times 50 or times 100, whatever way you want here. And from then on, you should be able to start earning or basically get more out of your dices here. Again, if you have a small amount of dices or if you have a, a like a very small amount of dices, make sure to decrease your multiplier. And if you have a lot of dices here, make sure to increase the multiplier to increase your chances of actually earning or um progressing into Monopoly Go. Now, 
also, uh, it is recommended that you participate in events. So what are events? So at the very top of your screen here, you have like, for example, endless bargain, endless deal. And they also have the specific icons here for certain events. Now events is a great way for you to basically start earning specific uh, prices. Now the price itself would depend on the event itself. So in this case, at the bottom center, you should be able to see the conditions for you to start, uh, basically start earning or basically gaining or progressing in the game itself. So as you can see, uh, for this one, you need to actually get a shutdown or a mega heist. And from here, if you get like a block or a success, you should be able to get like, for example, that specific icon or that specific currency for that event. And once you get like, for example, in this case, if you get five of those, you'll be able to unlock the price for that specific uh, milestone in that event. Now, in this case, you, just, you for you to actually participate on that, you just need to roll your dice here. And typically, again, if you land on one of the trains, uh, train icon here or blocks, you should be able to start earning specific uh, icons or specific uh, tokens on that specific event. But yeah, so another thing that you need to uh, utilize here is basically rolling high on events. Now, this is kind of risky, but again, on events, uh, you are likely to gain more or basically make sure to utilize events here. Like you, uh, events are a great way for you to earn dices or gain more points or progress more in um, Monopoly Go. So that's why if there, are, if there are any events, make sure to participate and read the rules and the conditions for you to actually uh, get more points on the event itself. Also, another way for you to, or another thing you need to utilize here are going to be vaults and community chests. Now, vaults is usually at the very bottom right here, which in this case is going to be album. And at the bottom right of your album, you should be able to see vault. Now, in this case, the vault section here actually stores your duplicate um, stickers. So in this case, if you have duplicate sticker, stickers, you should be able to start earning a specific type of reward. So for example, you uh, for example, this one, if you have like 250 uh, stars or 250 duplicates, which in this case, you should be able to unlock this specific vault here, which contains around 170 to 30 dices or dice rolls here, and also a minimum of three star um, stickers. On this case, there's a great way for you to earn more dices, which in turn, you'll be able to start using it again on a specific uh, events or in specific uh, playthroughs. Now, in this case, Community Chess is going to be at the very center bottom uh, or very center of your board here. As you can see, this is going to be the Community Chess. Now, how do you unlock this? So you, typically, it's going to be locked. So you just need to invite friends to join you on playing Monopoly Go. And once they actually accept, you should be able to utilize Community Chess here. So typically, you just need to click on Open here. But again, if you don't have Community Chess yet, you might need to actually invite people first and they need to accept that. In this case, as you can see, I'm playing my Community Chess here. So in this case, this is a great for you to earn additional uh, things or prizes on your account as well as gifting or giving back to your friends since they actually accepted your request to you. Uh, play with them on Monopoly Go. But yeah. Also, another thing that you need to utilize here is going to be the Quick Wins section. So Quick Wins is going to be a, a mission type of tool or a mission type of um, daily event. So in this case, uh, let's go ahead and complete this first and let's go ahead and go back to our main board. But again, in Committee Chess here, you should be able to start earning, as you can see, your friends open the tr uh, trendy restaurant your CD. And again, I I'm able to earn a specific amount here for that. Now again, uh, Quick Wins is going to be at the bottom left of your screen. So if you click on it, you have the option to claim specific prices if you meet specific conditions. Like for example, I have like an mission here that says upgrade to landmarks. So in this case, let's go and go back in here. Let's go to build here. Maybe I want to in uh, basically unlock or uh, this case, I want to improve that. So let's just increase our, our value or our multiplier here so that we'll be able to get more cash in here. So yeah, let's go ahead and go back to build here. And from here, let's go ahead and expand this one. And when we actually go back into our quick wins, as you can see, it's now completed. So it's a great way for you to start earning more. So as you can see, I'm able to earn a specific uh, cash here. 
So in this case, uh, you could go and just claim them every day to uh, basically increase or just make use of it. Because in this case, it's actually a pretty cool thing that they add here for you to uh, gain more or earn cash or even dices on certain cases. Like for example, at the very bottom here, you have seven days to actually do all the quick wins here. And once you actually complete all of them, you'll be able to get the uh, final prize here is going to be a five star sticker, which is something really cool that you get on your account here. But yeah, so those are the tips and tricks that you could do or use here in Monopoly Go. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.